What's good guys? So in this video, we're going to be going through ChatGPT again, and we're going to make a run script. Um, so I want to do like an acceleration type of script. I want to basically, I want to simulate somebody running slow to fast or whatever. Um, and so kind of give it that, uh, that situation. <clears throat> so we're going to do that. So can you script a Roblox, can you script a, can you script, can you make a script so a Roblox player can run from start or from a slow speed to a fast speed to simulate acceleration. Oh, what the heck? I'm just gonna copy and paste. All right. Wait, okay. Here's a sample, here's an example script in Lua. So it's actually make, whoa, what is this? Speed, start speed, acceleration, 0.5. Target speed, start speed, accelerate. All the function to begin accelerating the player's speed. Set the starting speed. Is this in a while loop or this is not in a while loop? <clears throat> Holy crap. All right, so uh, it's a local script. So let's go over and make a uh, let's make a local script paste. This is not gonna work because yeah, attempt index null with humanoid. So it's not waiting for the character. So we're gonna ask it, can you make a script to wait for a player's character to be loaded? And then we're gonna have to get the humanoid. What the heck was that? Character.humanoid. Okay, so let's try it. Did it actually do anything? Because it's not in a while loop, so I'm like really confused right now. Call the function to begin accelerating the player's speed. If speed, because it needs to check. Like here, here's what I'm talking about. So let's print this running the function see it's not even like oh running the function and it just did times 20 but see it's not doing it again it's only doing it once so i'm like very confused right now local speed speed equals acceleration if speed should we put this in a while loop? Should we put the speed code in a while loop or render stepped? 
Depends on your spec. These guys now frequently always update the player's speed. I want to update the player's speed while they are running to simulate acceleration. Acceleration. Oh crap, it's like doing a Okay, so now it's doing a render stepped version. Set the player's speed to the current speed. If speed equals target speed, disconnect. Disconnect the event. Why would we disconnect the event? So I said I want to update the player's speed while they are running to simulate acceleration. Base speed, max speed, acceleration. Deceleration. If dot mute direction dot magnitude. Okay. So let's try this. I'm just going to try this. See if we can get it to really pull this off. Okay. Let's see how it works. So it, it like barely works. Not really. I don't, it's not working the way I want it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do max speed of 40 base speed of zero and then yeah let's do that and see what happens it's yeah it's just going way too fast so if humanoid dot walk speed is blah 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 humanoid dot else if walk speed if humanoid, okay, else humanoid dot walk speed. Deceleration. Humanoid dot walk speed minus deceleration. This is like kind of weird, but um if humanoid walk speed is greater than base speed, is if is less than base speed, is less than base speed. So let's have five, I guess, for that. Let's test it again. This is kind of um, a, not what I expected it would do. So it's, yeah, this is doing some stuff. Like it did it a way that I wouldn't have expected it to do it. Like I wouldn't have done it like this, but um, chat GPT, chat GPT. Um, can you make it, can you make it to where I, where a player accelerate where a player's speed accelerates when they run from a start speed to a max speed and when they stop they start over when they stop their speed starts over i don't know what the acceleration thing's doing that demonstrates how to smoothly accelerate the player's speed from a start to a minimum 
and it's always doing this. It's messing up. You're wrong. You're wrong, Chat GBT. You're wrong, Chat GBT. <coughs> it's not how we do it. It's doing de deceleration again, and it's going. It's doing the same route. Um, I don't think that I like this route it's doing. If the player's speed exceeds the maximum speed, set the max. Set the speed to the maximum speed. The player is not moving, so reset their speed to base speed. Okay, it's actually doing something different, so let's try this. We only have different... Okay. Let's go, ChatGPT, please work. We might have to put a debounce. Okay, now it's working. That that's that's what I'm talking about. Okay, now it's working the way I wanted it to. We might have to put a debounce though because I think it's accelerating too fast. So what I'm gonna do is if I'm gonna create a debounce, so local is accelerating equals true or false actually. False. So if not excel if not whoa, if not accelerating and I I think I spelled accelerating wrong, maybe, maybe not. Then um, we're gonna put this here. Um, if the player's speed is the maximum, um, and then we're gonna say is accelerating equals true, task dot weight, uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, take dot weight, yes please. And then we're gonna say um, <clears throat> is accelerating equals false in or wait yeah in. so let's do that let's do that <clears throat> so now we have a debounce bar accelerating so it should simulate kind of like uh and you see it's it's really doing it but it's not doing it so fast okay so let's bring this down quite a bit maybe like zero two five i don't know we'll see how that works i think we did did we do 0.5 yeah of course so yeah that works a lot better we did it chat gpt we did it let's go elon musk what are you doing with chat gpt it's revolutionary science <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we did it, ChatGPT. Thank you. Um, we created a running script. That was crazy. Uh, you know. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Elon.